All right, all right, let's start. How is everyone doing? Allow me to introduce myself and welcome you to the AMA with Tectum. My name is Diana. I uh, have recently joined the Tectum team. Uh, I lead on the marketing and PR fronts, and it's such a pleasure to be with the Tectum team. Um, today, joining me for this wonderful AMA uh, is Alex Gusev, our uh, um, co-founder and uh, the lead architect and the creator of this technology. Alex, it's great to have you here. Alex, are you with us? Oh, still, uh, I mean, look, look, look at me. I'm, I'm an engineer, <laughs> cannot, cannot, cannot figure this type out. Yeah, I'm on. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> glad, glad to be it's here. It's great to have you here with yeah. us, Alex. Uh, I mean, where have you been? The community haven't seen you for a while. Where have you been? Why are you here with us today? Um, well, you know, there is so many uh, technical details and aspects. I just wanted to be there and just uh, ask my team. I said, guys, can I do it this time? And plus, I have not been on AMA mm -hmm. for over a year. And I was graciously allowed um, to lead today. So I hope I hope, I hope you don't mind. All right. So it's a pleasure to have you here. Nice. Awesome. I mean, um, well, actually, Alex, um, I'm going to be asking you a lot of questions today. So, I mean, you as a lead engineer and creator, all of this awesome technology, I please ask you to bear with me. You know, I'm a marketeer. I come from a fintech background. So if I do ask some uh, slightly stupid silly questions please do bear with me because you know I'm, I'm really eager to understand how this technology works and I'm sure that the community is as well so the, the more we can explain things and you know, you know offer transparency and just get people to understand our technology the better so please do bear with me today Let, let's do it Diana let's do it let's go all right so I mean um I'd like to tell the community first that because we have so much things going on, we'll be hosting those AMAs much more often now. And um, we, we have a form out. So any question that you guys have, please direct it to the form. Uh, the reason to why we're using the form and not bringing people up on a live conversation is that because we have to, we want to give everybody a chance, right, to voice their questions. So uh, please do send all your uh, your questions to the forum and we'll be very happy to answer them. Uh, but as for today's session, we have a very juicy topic. Uh, I mean, th the topic that is basically on everyone's mind, the public blockchain, the SDK, the API, the developers are out there and they're hungry to test our blockchain. So Alex, what are we doing about that? Why is that happening? Well, we, we got, we're going to have this public blockchain very soon. We actually divided uh, divided uh, into two phases. Uh, phase one, uh, which is going to be done literally like in a two month, few months, and then a phase two where um, our community will finally get uh, what they've been waiting for for so long. Uh, there's been um, delay. Uh, yes, uh, we apologize for that, uh, but we do have a very very uh, legit excuse. Our analytics came back. Uh, to us for very serious um, serious and uh, profound uh, proposition to add staking, mm -hmm. staking, uh, staking as a component to our consensus mechanism. As you probably know, uh, we are proud of uh, owning uh, the intellectual property, uh, owning the invention for um, uh, proof, of, uh, proof of utility consensus, uh, which, mm -hmm. is, uh, which is um, in the basic term what uh, Hyperledger uh, kind of works, uh, which is a pyramidal structure allowing one uh, master node, one elect node, uh, to spread everything down instantly, which which actually defines the speed of a blockchain. And suddenly we have mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, yeah, we have our analytical department coming back to us and saying, "Guys, look uh, look at Ethereum. It worked out so well for them. Let's add this in." And um, mm -hmm. and you know, and uh, taking into consideration that the half life of average fintech uh, slash uh, blockchain project has decreased from uh, three years to eighteen months in the in the recent uh, couple of years, uh, we realized mm -hmm. we we need we need to be ahead of time. We need to be ahead of time, and it's worth risk. And uh, we um, we did have some serious talks. Um, Level in our company, and we decided to do that. 
All right, all right. So I understand we have some dates set up for that, right? Do I, yeah, can you tell us more yeah, about yeah. when we expect to have that? Well, absolutely. I mean, when you uh, when you when you when you deliver your promises for your community, you you better have dates. <laughs> when you show up that time. Indeed. All right. So uh, our first day, phase one, will be released on uh, um, by September uh, before, but no later September first, uh, mm -hmm. which, which is okay. which was like two and uh, two plus something months, and uh, uh, phase two, which is a fully public uh, IV three. Uh, this is our gonna be our proprietary, so gonna be our masterpiece. Uh, proprietary consensus. Consensus is the heart of the blockchain. Um, mm -hmm. uh, by uh, December thirty first of uh, this year. I see. I see. Wow, that's nice. Uh, can we dive into the the details of that first phase? Um, tell me more. How are we growing into? What are we doing basically to develop ourselves into the public blockchain? What are the steps that we're going to take? Well, community. Tell me more. Well, uh, you see, uh, uh, community is eager to see community product. Uh, mm -hmm. People, uh, I mean, when you uh, when you make a claim that you're the fastest blockchain in the world, you better. Uh, you, better be. yeah, you, you better you better you better let uh, allow everybody to touch it. You know. And, yeah. and to test it with their hands, and 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 and, uh, and we decided to split, uh, split, and we took the most critical, important uh, factors and uh, functions which a community is looking for, which is API, and uh, okay. API, and uh, we do have a, as, as as you know, we have a, a our blockchain running in a, a private mode right now, and uh, mm -hmm. we added consensus, uh, consensus component. Um, to it, uh, which is uh, uh, quite similar to uh, Solana consensus minus uh, minus stake, and we're gonna have um, twelve validator nodes uh, doing work for free. <laughs> by the way, so there will be no uh, fees for validating uh, until the end of the year, and uh, it will basically um, basically amount to uh, to. Light node, which is going to be available for download on the GitHub by September first, for developers. To download, right. like, yeah, yeah. They download that a light node and they launch their light node. And as soon as light node uh, releases transaction, it signs transaction with its private keys, and the, and the validator node confirms one at least one validator confirms uh, uh, signs the transaction. So we have minimum minimum uh, two. Uh, signatures, confirmations, maximum 13 on every transaction by September 1st. So really, you cannot, I mean, you cannot call it private, but uh, we don't want to, uh, we, we we would rather end up under, under promise. I see. So basically, when we add the consensus mechanism to uh, uh, to a private blockchain, that's when it stops becoming private. Is, am I correct on that? Yes. Yes. By, this is what we're doing right now. By, this, is, this is the process we're doing right now. By definition, yes. By definition, you're absolutely correct. Uh, by definition, uh, private blockchain is a blockchain where all the nodes are working as a one piece, as a whole. They uh, they do have distributed. So they still have distributed ledger, and uh, until the last node dies, uh, the information, the data is safe. You see, the, the, mm. the redundancy is the name of the game in, in private mm -hmm. blockchain. In public blockchain, uh, security of the network is uh, the name of the game uh, because uh, nodes can be located in different parts of the world and uh, the, uh, the, the people and the groups or and or entities which uh, who run that nodes they don't even know each other and in our case uh we prefer to still call it private though yes you are correct uh this is the embryon of a uh, public blockchain all right so this is where we're heading to you also touched on the uh an uh, idea about light nodes i'm not sure if everybody in our community uh, is aware of that could you just touch on a bit further and explain what are light nodes how do they work and what is their part yes. uh, in this well, the process in, 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 in essence uh, in essence it's it's a client node it's a client node uh, mm. it's, it's available it's going to be available absolutely for free uh for, okay. for, for download it automatically connects connects to uh tectum blockchain and mm -hmm. it, it does it does have interface 
so so uh, people will be able to do uh, basic things like uh, mint mint tokens um, uh, deposit tectum tokens to the wallet and the tectum tectum token wallet will be automatically created uh, the uh, 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 there's going to be two ways to log in to sign up so you will, will be able to create a tectum user um, after installing the node or you will be able to use your tectum tectum uh, uh, id to operate a node mm -hmm. so in uh, and then node will have api coming with it so you uh, would uh, uh, be able to develop your own uh, your own project, your own UX, your, mm -hmm. your own backend on top, on top, of, on top of that. Yeah, that's what the, the devs want, right? That's what the devs are hungry for and they're waiting. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. And, and we're going to give it to them by September 1st. Wow, awesome. Okay. Um, the, another question comes to mind. What about fees? Any fees out there within, uh, within the spirit of time? Uh, well, we, uh, you see, there, there, is a, there, are, there are two, uh, two trends uh, in, the, in, a, in the blockchain industry right now. First trend was, uh, uh, was led by uh, Binance and the likes, uh, which is one-tenth of a percent and under one-tenth of a percent, which is community very used to. Another one, another trend is uh, by Tron, which is always under one dollar. If you, if, you if, you, if you follow through the transactions, you will see that uh, the average transaction is always between 50 to 75 cents equivalent of American dollar. So we decided to run a community test until the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the year, we're going to know what guys want. We're going to know what, uh, what, uh, what, what community wants. But right now, for now, we will be testing the one-tenth of a percent, never exceeding one do American dollar equivalent uh, fee. And, mm -hmm. and this is, okay. and this is not, not for the node confirmation, Diana. You, you don't don't mix those two. Nodes, uh, mm -hmm. the validator nodes will be confirmed transaction for free. This is going to be a free service till the end of the year. Why, why free? Because after the end of the year, blockchain will become public. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna shut we're gonna shut these nodes down. And um, and uh, the fees I'm talking about, I'm talking about the actual. Uh, performance fees, uh, creating, uh, minting Tectum tokens, and creating, uh, uh, perform, uh, conducting performance activity. So, so mm -hmm. they, they, yeah, they will be a uh, small uh, fee uh, taken in uh, Tectum tokens. Um, so the fee will be measured as a one tenth of a percent, and uh, but never exceeding one dollar. I see. I see. Um, Okay, can we just write a bit on the those uh, functionalities of those custom tokens we are speaking about? Alex, Alex have we lost you along the way? Uh, you know, I, Diana, I, I think, I, I think uh, there was a glitch in the internet. Can you please repeat your question, dear? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was just asking you about uh, those uh, custom tokens, about the functionalities. Just wanted to, you know, um, just let the devs and the community know a bit more. What are the type of things that we'll be able to play around and experiment with? What are the functionalities of those custom tokens? Again, 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 uh, simple, simple approach borrowed from Einstein. Things should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler than that. Uh, nobody has done better job than Ethereum. Uh, so we, mm -hmm. we are going to adapt the core properties such as a mint token, uh, um, decimal, decimal points, quantity of tokens, uh, burnable, not burnable, hard, uh, hard cap, no hard cap, um, blacklist, uh, etc. And, and, these, right. and these properties and these functions uh, will be available by on September 1st, but we are uh, we want, specifically want to make a want to make a statement for at least eight ten, and every literally and every week, every month, we will be adding more until we reach the uh, point of maturity where developers will have everything they want to form their own fully functional uh, digital environments on our system. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, nice. Sounds cool. So, um, so by our second date, will we have like a, a fully functioning uh, uh, public blockchain, or uh, or is it going to be a time for them to test? It will be fully functioning blockchain available uh, to be tested by the community. We are actually, mm -hmm. we actually, we actually planning on having a hackathon. Nice, nice. The test would love that, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So basically, uh, by our second phase, uh, we'll be in the test net. Uh, our test net will be out, and people can come in and test our product finally, and enjoy a hackathon, and uh, and really give feedback. Right? That's what we want. Yeah, and uh, we we intend to reward our uh, participants. Um, you reward our participants for finding glitches in our system. Just the only, mm -hmm. the only thing we cannot do is we cannot say when network is going to go live because we mm -hmm. want our community to decide when we are ready and mature enough to go live. Mm, okay. I mean, our community is our core, so definitely we need their, their input in that. Yes. All right. Um, can you tell me a bit more about those developments will be doing the second phase as well there's something interesting for developers to know in terms of what what type of works we'll be doing well uh, uh, uh does your question apply to uh public blockchain release or uh, some other developments some uh, uh bypass products uh, we intending to release um maybe the ivy tree consensus is something we haven't touched upon yet oh yeah yeah it's a uh, it's our masterpiece uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it used to be called proof of utility until it get uh, got commoditized, mm -hmm. com commoditized uh, by other players in the um, other players in the, in the space. Uh, what uh, um, what it really does, um, what uh, proof of utility in our vision, which is Ivy Tree, uh, does it allows everybody allows guy with a laptop uh, to earn money. Uh, with maybe not the same success, but with an acceptable rate as a guy with a powerful server. Uh, there is a, a four components now, a primary components, primary factors. There is way more than four, but four are worth being mentioned. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, hardware performance matters. Uh, a, uh, first one, a second, um, second one, internet network bandwidth mm -hmm. and uh, all, all related factors such as uh, latency blah 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 the third one is our uh, our know-how is a, a randomizer um because uh, you see rating it's all about rating we have our 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 masterpiece is the weight rating node weight rating mm -hmm. and that node weight rating will be defined by four components the fourth one and which which really caused the delay in development is the staking component. But we okay, tell us more. Right, right. Well, we, we we weren't able to make staking component, staking factor, leading factor, because that would turn us into the corporation. More tokens I got, more voting power I have. Uh, that would not be mm. that would not be fair to our original promise to the community. Uh, mm -hmm. right, right. Because, well, yeah, that's what proof of utility is. It gives, it gives you, it gives you a chance. It always gives you a chance, no matter how, how, uh, uh, how small and the, um, um, and the how small your input how, is, how yeah. small your device is, okay. how, okay. how how weak your device is. You still, you still have a chance to, uh, to get a piece of, yeah. piece of the pie to okay. earn, to earn from the network, and uh, that's that's the that's the randomizer. Uh, staking really will. Uh, the way we the way we did it, we allowed staking to define the ceiling. Uh, like, well, for example, um, give me something yeah, like an example, yeah. something that I can understand, Alex. This is all like yeah. complicated tech. Come on, give uh, us yeah. something easier to understand. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was I was just gonna ask you. Do you mind if I go to a little little bit go into details? You gotta forgive me. I'm an engineer. Uh, <laughs> Indeed. So, so let's say network is comprised of only two nodes, yours and mine. All right. And uh, your node has a thousand tokens balance, and, okay. and my node has a five hundred tokens balance. 
All right. And uh, and let's say we have equally performing devices, which basically means mm -hmm. which basically means that my rating is half of yours. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, reward comes to us. Let's say 150 tokens. Yeah. Which means, since your rating is 100%, because you are the highest uh, holder, token holder in the network, because you have 1,000. Remember, you have 1,000 tokens. I have 500 tokens. Yeah. The uh, node with the highest balance is taken as a 100%. So, mm -hmm. like, if, uh, for example, Johnny uh, joins network with his node and he's got 2,000 token balance in his mm -hmm. node, his 2,000 his 2, token become 100%. Now you have 50% rating ceiling, yes. rating ceiling, rating ceiling. You see, uh, staking in our model does not define your mm -hmm. rating. It defines your ceiling. Yeah, and other factors also. Well, yeah, yeah. Mm. This way, this way, guy with a powerful machine, like for example, I have five hundred tokens. You have thousand tokens, and my my machine is twice more pow powerful than yours, uh, and my rating is only fifty five uh, five fifty percent, right? Ceiling. Yeah. But yours, though you have hundred percent ceiling, you cannot reach them because your machine is twice as weak as mine. So we are equal. <laughs> uh, which, which makes us equal, uh, plus a, a randomizing factor. And uh, we're very proud to, uh, I mean, every community knows that we, we have our own uh, random uh, number algorithm, uh, which has been tested and, and proven, you know, through, I would say, decade by now, um, mm -hmm. uh, which will basically give you and me, besides staking factor, and besides a hardware performance factor will give a chance to randomly become a winner and become an elect node mm -hmm. and uh, get uh, get all the profits. Nice, nice, nice. I see. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I wanted to ask you about the name, by the way, about the IV3 consensus. <laughs> I like the name. Oh, well, yeah. Where'd you get it from? Uh, one of us is just uh, one of us is just in love with nature, and uh, he said, "You know, look at the IV3. It, it, it touches the ground <laughs> of all the, all the branches all at the same time. So uh, that's that's what our consensus looks like. Uh, we when 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 the uh, uh, elect node is elected, it hits everybody simultaneously. I see." I see. Nice. Uh, indeed, it is a beautiful tree and a beautiful name and a beautiful system. Yeah. So that's it's awesome. It's already better. Um, all right. That's cool. I mean, that's that's a lot of updates uh, from us in terms of technical updates. Uh, I'm sure the community would like to dive into that in a lot of details. So we'll have a, a detailed roadmap and a, an article released next week uh, on our socials. So keep an eye on that, where you can you know, read more about this, learn, ask your questions. Once again, I want to tell you that we have the forum open. It's going to be open uh, all the time. So please do voice your questions over there if you want to ask us something, which we can further on elaborate in our further AMAs or our socials. So we're, we're here to answer all your questions. Uh, well, um, I think it's it's about it, about the public blockchain. There's so much to be said, right, Alex? But um, we're trying to uh, we're trying to manage the time over here. Um, I, we have one more update, which is also kind of cool. I wanted to bring up. Uh, I think we're getting a step closer to uh, the mass adoption of our soft mode, uh, wallet app because it's turning into an app. Finally, we're getting it into um, uh, the iOS and apps and um, uh, iOS and Android stores. Uh, tell me more. When, when is that? When is that happening? Oh, when can people actually download, <laughs> download and use it? I, I would, I would, I, oh, when is it happening? Uh, the same, the same days by September first. Uh, but, but I would rather uh, see you ask me why this is happening. <laughs> we, uh, okay, tell me why. Well, we hit, we hit three blockchain slash uh, fintech conferences in Dubai in Emirates this year. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, we had our booth, and we just uh, did everything the right way. And uh, we got bombarded. Uh, people would walk up to us and say, guys, this is such an awesome uh, disruptive product. What is mobile app? Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, 
you don't want to develop uh you don't want to start developing mobile app until your interface and all your functions are in place and since we we had so many new components like epos uh mint house um uh, that cash i mean there's just uh, uh, the ocean of new features and components we didn't want to start developing mobile app until we're set and firm because you know it takes 15 minutes to change something on your website but it takes uh 24 hours uh to get approved by apple or google moderator to make a little change in your mobile mm -hmm. app so normally mobile apps are done at the end historically mm -hmm. although uh there is a uh there is a trend to start from mobile apps uh, we decided to take traditional route uh that was decision made a couple of years ago and um we decided that until we get everything uh, we have i mean let's be honest diana we have complicated product we, yeah we made, we made we made a huge huge claim we decided to make bitcoin spendable again and, yeah. yeah and uh and that i mean that that took some effort from us and uh when we uh hit these uh, summits uh like every second person would ask us where is mobile app where is mobile app and and after the first, third one of the fintech summit uh it was about time you know. it was about time we, we decided let's do it let's do it <laughs> yeah indeed I, I really think it's gonna make um our soft note solution much more user friendly and much more attainable right now with the mobile app you know just much much more easier to use so that's why i, I mentioned i think it's a really a step closer to you know the mass adoption of our, our product we're moving in that direction and uh this is a great milestone and i'm looking forward to be able to play with the app uh and i think our community will be excited as well so that's that's all great news but our development team has a lot of work to do in the next six months oh we, we, so, our development team doubled uh, in the last uh, six months oh this is this is also great uh, great info for our community to know that that uh we have a huge workforce operating on all of those uh, different elements and um and this is how we're able to de deliver all those great things right correct correct absolutely Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I think uh, I think uh, it's about it for today's AMA. I mean, there's so much more that we can discuss, but uh, we we like to take you know uh, we like to do AMAs more uh, often now, right? As I mentioned at first, and uh, to give you actually time to ask the question you want to ask. Uh, so next week we're actually having an AMA with a very well-known platform called Galaxy. Uh, and we hope for you to join our AMA there. We'll be discussing more about our project, our updates and more details. And then we'll be hosting more AMAs also on our channels, much more uh, focused topics, right? Diving into more details, making sure that all the questions our community has, uh, we're answering. So uh, we're here. Please ask your questions, voice them out. We'll be happy to answer them. And uh, we'll see you again very soon. And I thank everybody for being here. I thank you, Alex, for this all this information that you've thrown on us. Uh, we're gonna go uh, and digest it right now. <laughs> but it was it's great to know all those uh, great news coming up. And uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you, Diana. You were awesome. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.